One of the more interesting aspects of the study was to survey um, private school teachers as well as public school teachers. What came out of that was that private school uh, teachers uh, in these areas feel much more confident that their students are learning what um, they think they should know. They're also more confident that they have the flexibility to teach uh, their courses. Um, they also think that their, the civics education is given a higher priority than the public school teachers. We see evidence that private school teachers, because they're less concerned about standardized tests, uh, because they feel less pressure to drive up reading and math scores, uh, because the nature of their schools seems to be in terms of culture and focus, more oriented towards value instruction and developing students as full people, what we see them telling us is that they feel they have much more opportunity uh, to engage in questions of citizenship, uh, making sure students know history, making sure students are developing uh, attitudes uh, uh, in which they value things like volunteerism and free speech, and making sure students understand basic elements uh, of American system of government. When you actually look at what the private school teachers uh, want to teach, what they take a pri what priorities they have for teaching, it reflects pretty much what the public school teachers uh, um, uh, have said. The behavioral elements that the private schools excel in are, are a product of several obvious things. One is they get to pick the students. If a student is misbehaving, they can always ask the student to leave the school. Um, there's more flexibility for the teachers to uh, reprimand and discipline the students. Um, and finally, they probably uh, come to the school with more than likely a higher socioeconomic background and so more likely to already have instilled certain behavioral habits before they even come to school. One of the things to really take from this study is the question of how do we either look to private schools to help us think about um, opportunities to do a better job in public schools, or how do we get more comfortable recognizing that private schools can actually serve public purposes and become more comfortable allowing families to choose to use public resources to have their students educated in what we usually think of as private school environments.